Hey guys, and welcome to another Clash of Clans video. Today we're going to be taking on this new Itsu base that he just uh, uh, released on his channel about a week ago. And we're going to be taking a look at four different ways to triple it. Uh, to try and help you out uh, help you out when you hit the space in Legend. So four different strategies. Uh, we're going to go in order of the uh, hardest to the easiest. The hardest one being here, uh, Queen Charge Lalo. So, with Queen Charge Lalo, it took me quite a few tries because I was trying to do it without using Yeti Blimp. But I, I figured that it just it wasn't consistent enough. I was able to get a triple here and there, but it just wasn't consistent enough to uh, uh, be able to help you guys in any way. But here's what I came up with for Yeti Blimp Queen Charge Lalo. The Queen Charge going in at the uh, 2 o'clock area after the Blimp takes out the single Inferno on the right side, on the 3 o'clock side. So Yeti Blimp takes that out, and then the Queen deals with the inside and gets uh, two layer of wall breaks uh, on the inside of the base in order to take out the Champion pretty early as well as the CC. And she's also gotten one of the Scatter Shots, so now it's one of the also important points with the Lalo. Is that leaving up both scatter shots to Lalo is really kind of a no-no, especially when, especially the, with the way the traps are laid out. So we get the queen now, and we've also got the uh, both sweepers, both scatter shots, and uh, the champion as well. So we have a pretty good idea of how to triple the space. We just got the Lalo coming in from the top side. Targeting two defenses along with the Warden. The red mines are over by the Expo at the top, so uh, we're going to have to Warden our way through that. Uh, very well placed, to be, to be uh, fair there. So, Warden right through there and getting into the Town Hall. We have the uh, Tornado Trap on the outside of the base, so that's why that's, able, that's actually possible. If you move the Tornado Trap to behind the Town Hall, then maybe... Uh, that wouldn't work out so well, but that would also um, impact the way that the attack goes on other strategies. So here we're left with the Royal Champion and a couple of loons, but uh, with the Royal Champion it's going to be a pretty quick 3-star. Royal Champion also has the uh, dealers with hers, so that's going to make it a lot easier. So along with the uh, Royal Champion ability, able to get the rest of the defenses down by yourself, and that's going to be it for the base with uh, about 8 or 10 seconds left. Okay, 10 seconds. So that was the hardest strategy out of the four that I tested. Next up is Queen Charge Hybrid. Queen Charge Hybrid uh, is pretty difficult to do on this base if you don't know where the traps are. But fortunately, for uh, having the link out in the public, it's very... Uh, <laughs> The uh, traps are public now, so now we know that there are three springs in this Inferno Power Compartment at 6 o'clock, and three on the right side at uh, 3 o'clock as well. So that means that we have to do the Queen Charge from this area, or from 3 o'clock, because otherwise the miners and the hogs just, there aren't enough in order to, uh, to get through that area with all the spring traps. So we have to Queen Charge here, and luckily the... Black Mines aren't on the side either, so we don't even need to waste any uh, loons on the sky, uh, Black Mines. I tried to get the second layer here, but just didn't quite make it. But the Queen's eventually going to beat through the wall anyway, because there's nothing else that she can do. So here we've cleared out uh, one quarter of the base. King's also cleared out the left side of the uh, trash buildings. So we can send in our hybrid right by that air defense and the wizard tower. Uh, as soon as the queen's done, uh, as soon as the, the spells are done, the spells on the queen are able to uh, help her get through the CC without any other intervention. Then we have the yeti blimp coming in at 3 o'clock to take care of those spring traps. And then at that point, the base is done. We just have to make sure our uh, heal spells are placed correctly. And there's nothing that this base can do to stop us after taking out most of the spring traps just with the entry. 
Uh, I'm using, I think I'm using the, uh, or Itsu's version of, or Itsu's army composi composition for hybrid. So we're left with a couple of loons, even though we didn't need them for the Coco loons at 6 o'clock. But we were able to save them for 12 o'clock by the uh, Archer Tower. And one of the other strategies also uses uh, balloons over in that area, too, uh, to help out. And then we're left up with a couple of uh, defenses, but a lot of miners left and a couple of hogs. So not terrible, and it is pretty consistent. Next up is my favorite of the three, even though <laughs> I barely ever use it. This uh, strategy, not this strategy, but this attack, this like attack plan is my favorite. Yeah. So take that funnel out, or use the funnel with the baby dragon and the loon, or to take out that uh, cannon. And there's also a the sixth builder hut is also there, but this account, uh, the vote one hive account, I don't have a sixth builder on this one. But it's not that big of a difference. We use the Yeti Blimp at 6 o'clock in order to create the funnel for the wall breakers. So we're going to wall break into this uh, Archer Tower compartment. And we're also going to wall break a couple more times into this base. And that's what that's my uh, that's the most fun part of this strategy. So we drop all of our uh, bowlers and yetis. And now we're going to wall break in with the uh, Warden effect, the uh, Warden ability. That's going to keep the wall breakers invincible. They're actually able to get four layers of walls taken out with just six wall breakers. Uh, jump spell wasn't placed super well. Uh, it wasn't intentional to not uh, get that Inferno, to com Inferno compartment connected to the jump spell. But that's just how it worked out. And it also seemed to... Uh, it still worked out in the uh, attack in the three star. So on the back end here, uh, I did this like, I think it took two or three times to, to actually figure out how to take this back end out. Because you have the uh, these two Inferno Towers left that could possibly take out the, just the rest of the entire army. But we were able to do it with a couple of, the, with the help of a couple of loons. And then we're going to end up uh, taking some damage onto this. Uh, they're able to take some damage onto the bottom Inferno Tower, Inferno Tower compartment. And then that sends the Royal Champion up to the top. To be able to take out the last Inferno. And then we're left with a couple of Yetis and Heroes and Bowlers for that 3-star. So this is the, uh, the very popular Chinese um, Yeti Smash army. Uh, one of the guys in Nova uses it a lot. And this is by far the easiest attack. This took me zero, <laughs> zero uh, fails. This is the first attempt. Uh, this was the first thing that I thought of when I saw this base. Uh, using the king to... to lure out all those traps. And then just drop the wall breakers in behind. So the queen is going to eventually take out the town hall. And... That last wall breaker is actually really powerful in order to uh, lure out the tornado trap. And then the queen's able to deal with the town hall without being hit by the tornado trap as well. So the CC for this base is two ice golems and archers. That's very easy to do to uh, do with dragons. And you don't even need a free spell at all to uh, deal with that. So dragons coming in at the top, uh, three for funnel and the rest for the to uh, funnel into the middle of the base. Warden over the red bombs in order to keep those uh, loons up and keep a good amount of health on the dragons as well. We also have a heal spell and on the back end we also have a Electra. So in the blimp it's going to be loons and the e drag. That's going to take out the Inferno Tower, and a couple of defenses on the outside as well. So we have about uh, almost like 9 or 10 dragons left, something like that. And they're going to be able to converge on the, on the uh, last 
compartment of this base, this single inferred tower, that is able to be frozen along with a air defense, so that is quite a lot of value there. So it absolutely crushed it. First attempt on that one. The Lalo took um, like 10 plus attempts because I was trying to do it without the Yeti Blimp. Uh, two attempts with the Yeti Blimp. Um, Bowler, the uh, Bowler Witch attack took uh, three attempts. And then the Dragon attack took one attempt. And the last one, this, there's one more I forgot. Uh, hybrid took three attempes. Yeah, so I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something. I've been Ray's Gaming, and I'm out.